Well, good day, one and all, and welcome back to my channel. I am Kathy, the Scrap and Crafty Gardener, and today I'm going to be using a couple of different items. I'm going to be combining the Spellbinders uh, APG Die of the Month for August of 2022. I'm going to be using the Peekaboo Trellis Panel. And I'm also going to be using the All to New Layered Rose Die Collection. Let me get those out of my envelope here. I should have done that before I got on camera. Sorry for the noise. And I'm also going to be using a generic, it's a Happy Valentine's Day die. Um, I got it on Amazon. I don't think it's from any special company. Um, and then I'm also going to be using a rubber stamp. This came in a magazine uh, of rubber stamping and card making. And today I'm going to be using the I Love Thee to the depth and breadth of my soul, or my height, my soul can reach by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I thought that quote went well with the Valentine's card that I want to make today. This is a card I made earlier today using that same design um, with the trellis, some washi tape. I used a hello sentiment that's from Spellbinders and I put on some flat back rhinestones and then this was a generic um, red rubber stamp that I had taken off the stamp block years ago and I unfortunately I don't know what company made that and the uh, coordinating envelope to go with that. But for my Valentine's card, I'm going to be making horizontal. Now, I haven't decided what color for the background I'm going to be. I know I'm using um, a 5 by 7 card again today, and this measures 10 inches by 7 inches. I score it in half, um, and then fold it over and crease with my bone folder. Now, this is where I, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for the background. For the back layer, I haven't decided whether I'm using this red metallic cardstock. I believe I got that from Joanne Fabrics. This measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters, or if I'm going to use this deep red uh, cardstock with the same measurements. That I haven't decided yet, so we're just going to set those aside until we get the card kind of done. And I've already cut out a piece to save some time later, but I'm going to show you what else you need. You need a piece of black which measures four and a half by six and a half. And that will be layered on the card. I really love how it looks on the glittery, but then I'm, I'm a glitter kind of girl. But it also looks very nice on the black, but a little bit more subdued. So that's why I haven't decided yet. And then for the panel, you're going to need two pieces of white that measure four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And you're also going to need a piece of clear acetate, which measures four and a quarter inches high, and it can be any length you want. It just needs to fit behind the cut panel. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Now for these dies, I already did cut this one out to save a little bit of time. And I just put that in my uh, cuddle bug and cut that out. And this die is nice because it doesn't cut off the edge. It just cuts off the top and bottom and out of the center. So it kind of gives you a nice lacy feel. And for the layered roses, I cut two flowers, one for the card, one for the envelope. And then I cut out three sets of the leaves. And I just did those on scratches of white cardstock, made every one white and I have already cut those out. And I have already cut out the Happy Valentine's Day to kind of save on some time today. So now, the next thing I'm gonna do is we'll start with the panel that I already cut out. So we can get rid of one of these whites now. And we'll set this aside. I'm going to take the front before I even do anything else to this, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on. And I'm just going to kind of stick that down. And where did I put? The, oh, there it's the rubber stamp. And I kind of want this to be at the top of the card. And I'm going to put that down. But since I don't know whether I have it centered or not, 
I'm going to put this back in it. And since I haven't used the stamp, I need to condition it by just rubbing my finger across it. That gets off the coating that comes in from on it from the factory. And I'm going to be using uh, Gina K Black Onyx ink today for this. And this is just a test to see if it's where I want it on the card and if I have it lined up straight or not. Oh, that looks good. So that's where I want it to be. And I'll clean that off later. So now we'll just ink it up again. And this will take a couple of times. My handy dandy improvised checky tool. I think just once more. This was a, a recent magazine. I want to say probably from May or June of last year. Because it was a magazine, I think card making, simply card making perhaps. Um, there, that looks good. So now I'll just clean off my stamp. using plain old water and a scrap dishcloth. Take that out. Now we're gonna put this together. Since this is very delicate, I don't want anything to happen to that in the meantime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over and get me out a piece of scratch paper that I can glue on. Now I'm gonna use my art glitter glue today and I'm just going to put a few dots on the leaves only. Just a little bit because this is going to go on the acetate. And I don't want the glue to seep through and show on the acetate. Just kind of like that. And that's all. Now I'm going to take my adhesive tape runner. I'm just using the Doris Permanent. And I'm gonna go on each side of this. Wipe my acetate off here. And this is why it needed to be the same height and I'm not putting it in the right place. So I'll have to trim this off. Oh dear. What a mess. Let's put a little bit more glue on there. Cover that up. Now I've got glue on that, so we're going to get a new piece of acetate here. I've got one set aside, I believe. Now we'll use the same. I'll just move it over. We want it to line up with the edges here. And going to set that down. Now, I'm going to be using black metallic sparkly washi tape. This is from Tazzle. Um, I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby. But I cut it down to the size I want it to be. And we're going to do this on here so I can get my lines straight. I'm using my Tim Holtz media mat and just kind of centering that up. Oh, I did got some glue showing through. I'm gonna have to get that off of there. It will dry clear, but I would prefer it not be there. I'm going to leave a very narrow layer of this edge showing. Just like that. Get some scissors and trim that down. And leave your washi tape hanging off a little bit. The same as here. That looks good. Now, fold this over. And it did come through the front, so I think I can get that off. With a little, uh, a wet wipe perhaps. Yes, that worked. All right. Now we're going to fold that extra washi tape over. Washi tape sometimes has a reputation 
of coming off the card if you don't secure your ends down. Now we're gonna put glue on the back of this. this kind of all over and put our second piece right on the back oh nope not gonna do that yet <laughs> hold on glue don't dry on me what I forgot to tell you is we're going to take our light colored red I'm using three different kinds of red today for my light color I'm using the Gina K designs red velvet my medium color is the Ranger Distress Oxide and Festive Berries, and then the Gina K Designs in Cherry Red for the Dark. And I'm going to take the red velvet, just kind of where that window is, I'm just gonna lightly put a little red of red in here. And you see that splotch here, that's not gonna matter. Now I'm also gonna add a little bit of this soft stone from Gina K Designs. Just to kind of mute it slightly. Oh, well, I got my glue all over, but that's okay. Now we will put this down. I want a little bit more glue on here. Of course, you get this all planned out in your head and then things go wrong once you get it on camera. But that's okay. And see, and that gives it a little bit of red coloring. Now, if there's anything that needs trimmed off, this is when I'm going to do that. If I didn't get things lined up quite correctly, I will trim it off to make it even. Now, I will put this on the back, since I already have some glue started here on the back of this one. I'm gonna put it on the black, but I'm not gonna put it on the red because I haven't decided what I'm actually doing with which color I'm gonna go with. I have an idea I'm going to go with the sparkle. That's just the way I <laughs> I go in life. Anything sparkly, though I don't wear a lot of sparkles, but I love anything that sparkles. And I'm just gonna set that there with my old stamping platform on it to kind of hold it down. I'm done with the gray, we don't need that anymore. But now we're going to color the flowers. And on the Altenew, you take these full cutouts. That is your lightest color. Got a little bit on there. And we're just going to go off the page and just color. And it's okay to get a little highlighting on the edge. That's that one. And we're done with that red. Now we're going to use the Tim Holtz Festive Berries for this layer. This is the next layer. And I want that to be a little bit darker. And I think that will go on top of that. And then for the third and final layer, I'm gonna rub some of this off. And I'm gonna use the Gina K Cherry Red. And this is a little bit more delicate. I want to make sure I have these going the right direction here. Yeah. See, and this is a deeper, darker red, and that's what I was going for. And that will go on top. They're delicate but sturdy, depending on what kind of cardstock you use. I just use the Nina Solar White. So 
sometimes I just use a scrap and I have no idea what it is. It could be a scrap of watercolor paper, uh, but this I know was the Nina Solar. All right, now we're gonna do the leaves. If you haven't seen these, um, I got these little trays at Dollar Tree and they make great trays for putting your embellishments in um, or your die cuts. I have it over at my cuddle bug um, so that when I'm die cutting, I can just put the pieces right in there. Now for the green, I'm going to be using the lighter color is Gina K Designs Jelly Bean Green. And we're just going to do the full one is the light color. Okay. And then for the darker tone, I'm using Gina K Designs Fresh Asparagus. Let's make sure I have these going in the right direction. Yes, I do. I'll move these up a little bit more in case you can't see that. I'm, I apologize. And you can get it all really dark or you can do some spots darker and some spots lighter. It gives a little bit of shading, um, look more like a real leaf. Now you can also just cut these out of uh, colored cardstock. You don't have to use the white and color them, uh, but sometimes you just don't have the color paper that you wanna do with this. Now we're gonna put these together and I'm going to use, let's better cover that glue up for now. I'm going to use my art glitter glue to put these together. Now, turn them over. And lay that down on top of here. And turn this one over. The tapping, um, when I'm putting on glue in a light area, allows me to get just a small amount. If I squeezed it out, I might end up with a big clump. And then this one goes on here. And I believe this glue dries clear because I've got glue everywhere right now. Set that off. In the big areas, you can scrub it in, but when you get to the smaller areas, kind of tap it. And I'm gonna wipe my fingers off for a minute because I seem to have glue all over them. Turn this over, lay this layer down. Now we'll do the same for the third layer. be the last layer down there. Slide it in. There we go. I better clean my fingers off again. Now we're going to do the same for the leaves. We'll just turn these over. <laughs> Got that glue down to the paper. Darn. And you can make as many leaves as you want. You can put one leaf, three leaves, six leaves. That's all up to you and how you want to do your design. You can even use different leaves from different companies. Um, if you have a leaf that you much prefer, use it. This is all about your creativity and how you picture things in your mind. Get that extra off there. Come on, turn over. There is no right or wrong. It's your choice because you will be the creator. And that's what I love about homemade cards. 
You put a lot of time and effort into it, and it's kind of a gift of love in itself. Just some people really don't seem to know how long it takes you to make a card. There we go. Clean off my hands again. And now we will get the um, Valentine's greetings. Now, when I cut these out, I used scraps. And I made them fit as best I could. And I cut out three so I can stack them together. And you see this one, I didn't have quite enough um, of the paper left when I was cutting out, but I didn't want to waste it. So that's going to be my middle layer. So I'm going to take one of these. And now I will take the not complete one and put it in the middle. And the only ones that will ever know are you guys. Get that lined up. Need a little bit more glue there, I think. There we go. Sometimes. Oh, and I see a center wasn't popped out of that day. There we go. Now, all right, now let's put the top layer on. Less layer down. I think I should have named my channel Kathy the Messy Crafter. <laughs> but that's my process. And I'm sure other people out there are the same. You see a lot of these people who make it look so perfect, and well, that's not life for me at least. Now, I'm going to take our card. Oh, let me clean off my fingers first because glue, glue everywhere. And I'm also gonna remove this sheet of paper because it's got a lot. Come on. Did I lose? Oh no, there's the glue. Did I need a little bit of glue to hold that down? Okay, now I'm going to put, let's see which rose do I want on the card. I think I want this one on. And that rose is going to go here. And figure out how I want my leaf placement. See how the, the red and the gray together kind of made it a, a peachy color. Yeah, I think that's how I want it. Good. So I'm going to glue my leaves down in in their position just where they are. And now I want to pop up this. So I'm going to use some foam tape. Let's see, where is that foam tape at? I thought I had it sitting here. Pardon me while I hide and seek. Ah, uh, there it is. This is a half inch foam, foam tape. I, <laughs> I thought I got it from Simon Says Stamps, but I'm not positive. I never really used to care where my products came from. Um, I would get them, I'd put them on the cards that I put them on and not write down 
whose product they were. Now I try and be a little bit better at that. And then this will go here. Okay, now we're gonna glue down our Happy Valentine's Day. No, don't want it angled. We'll just put it straight up and down. I think I'm gonna give this card to my sister-in-law to give to her husband, my brother. Um, I myself don't celebrate Valentine's anymore. That was my wedding anniversary many years ago. And since my husband passed away, it no longer holds the meaning that it did to me. So I don't often make Valentine's card, but I know my sister-in-law was looking for one for her husband. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And put that here. Okay, now I get to decide, do I want it on the glitter? Oh yeah, but let's, let's take a look. No, definitely the glitter. I hope you're with me on that, guys, because... Um, and if you think I should have put it on the, the plain red and not the glitter, let me know and let me know why you think that. Um, I think my life is glitter. I'm usually covered in glitter all day, every day. Put that right on there. Now we're gonna put it on the card itself, and then I'm gonna add the uh, rhinestone embellishments. Now you always wanna check which way your card's going before you put it on. There have been a few times where I put it on the wrong way, and that's not such a big problem because then you can just cut it off and glue it to the front of a new card. Okay, now I'm going to add, these are just some flat back rhinestones that I have. Um, I think I got them at Joanne Fabrics many years ago. Now I'm just gonna put a few on the card here and there. And I'm gonna put one here, one here, kind of where the loop-de-loops are. That would give me four. Well, and then we'll put one over here. And we'll see if, if I need them elsewhere on the card, so let's see. This is my close to my heart wax pencil. And there's another cat hair. I think at the end of this, I might include some still photos of my cats so that you can see why I have cat hair everywhere. They don't come down to the basement usually Oh, I think that's good. Do I need any over here? I don't think so. Or do I? No. <laughs> okay. And that's this card. Now we will get an envelope. And I'm just going to glue this to the bottom of the envelope. Earlier, I tried to make a stencil of this flower to put so that I could just stencil it on, but I was not successful with that. And that's that. That's how that looks. And these are the two cards that I made today using the same stencils. Again, it was these Spellbinders um, Peekaboo Trellis Panel. There are two panels that both do the same thing. They cut out the middle, but not the sides. The other, the other one is more actual like fall leaves and that would be a beautiful fall card. But I, I like this one for romantic slash sentimental kind of cards. I think this also would make a nice sympathy card if maybe you did the flowers in um, a darker color, perhaps several different shades of gray and black. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to add a little bit more bling. Um, I got my Wink Stella, only this time it is glitter black. 
and I'm just going to put that on top of the Happy Valentine's Day. That will add that little bit of sparkle that I thought this side needed, but I didn't want to put it on with a rhinestone. Just adds a little bit of bling without looking too in your face blingy. And I should have put this on before I put it on the card in case I slip, but I gotten pretty good at putting it on afterwards. There's a little extra piece. I think there's a little extra piece on there. And there is. Yeah, see if I had not put this on, I wouldn't have noticed that extra piece right off. And then my brother would have gotten the card from his wife and gone, what the heck is wrong with this? Went off a little bit, so I'll get my white gel pen and cover that spot up. There we go. Get my white gel pen. And just cover up those spots. There, now it's done. If it, I don't know if you can see that little bit of extra glitz to the happy valentine's day and that is it uh, thank you for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day my cat Kenneth he's 11 and a half years old next up is David he's also 11 and a half years old they're both brothers and then Bridget little miss Bridget is 10 and a half and pumpkin is a stray I'm guessing between three and five years old and my cricket apropos no project is complete without cat hair stuck to it